and landed on it like no you didn't roll your ankle or anything like that no and it just hurts really bad yeah i heard a pop you heard a pop okay yeah after conducting a history the examiner was on to inspection starting by looking for calluses and blisters along with foot type she can also check the toes for martin's toe claw toes hammer toes helix valgus bunion corns ingrown toenails or subungal hematomas then she will move on to the medial structures, specifically the medial arch, and then to lateral structures with the fifth metatarsal. And she will do a general inspection of the dorsal structures as well, and then move on to the plantar surface and check for plantar warts and calluses. All right, can you scoot that for me really fast? All right, well, everything, I guess. Uh, she will then have the patient turn over so he, she can view the posterior surface as well right. and check the integrity of the Achilles tendon. Can you flip on your belly for me? Yeah. Foot alignment can also be assessed at this point, such as forefoot and rear foot valgus and varus. Non-weight bearing inspection of the the foot alignment can also be done along with assessment of subtalar neutral. That hurt? Mm -hmm. okay. Upon completion of observation, the examiner moves on to palpation, starting with medial structures. All right, Justin, I'm going to palpate your uninjured foot so we have a comparison, okay? Okay. Let me know if anything hurts. All right. The first metatarsal phalangeal joint. The first metatarsal, the first cuneiform, the navicular, the tailor head, the soft tentaculum talli, the spring ligament, medial talar tubercle, calcaneal dome, flexor halicus longus, tibialis posterior. In the posterior tibial artery. The examiner then moves on to lateral structures. The fifth metatarsal phalangeal joint, the fifth metatarsal, the styloid process, the cuboid, lateral border of the calcaneus, and the peroneal tendons. Then the examiner moves on to the dorsal structures. The sinus tarsi, the dome of the talus, the cuneiforms, the tibialis anterior, extensor halicus longus, extensor digitorum longus, inferior extensor retinaculum, dorsalis pedal artery, intermetatarsal neuromas. Finally, the examiner moves on to the plantar structures. Medial calcaneal tubercle, the plantar fascia, and any sesamoid bones with a great toe. Upon completion of palpation, the examiner moves on to range of motion. All right, I'm gonna feel on your other foot for a second and let me know if any of this hurts, okay? Okay. Right there. Right there hurts? Mm hmm Does it hurt when I go down? Uh, it's okay right there, but... Okay? Yeah. How about your toe? How's those feel? That's okay. That's okay? Yeah. Oh, this is good? 
Mm -hmm. This doesn't hurt at all? Mm -hmm. Just want to go right here? Mm -hmm. Alright, can I have you sit up for me? Alright, Justin, can I have you scoot forward and kick your feet off the table for me? Mm -hmm. Alright, all I'm going to do is I'm going to have you um, point your toes down for plantar flexion. Just do as much as you can. Yeah. Okay? And then uh, bring your toes up for dorsiflexion. And then I want you to roll your feet in for inversion. Okay? And roll them out for eversion. And then I would like you to point and bring your toe in for supination and then bring it back up and out for dorsiflexion. Did all that hurt? Yeah. Pretty much? Okay. So we're going to start on this foot. So I'm just, just relax and let me move it, okay? Alright, and tell me when this hurts too much, okay? Yeah, right there. Mm-hmm. Right there. <laughs> so pretty much every motion hurts you, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. Can you push up against my feet? Or hand? And push down? Good. Then can you push in? And push out? Good. Alright, I want you to bring your toes up. Good. And then flex them down. Okay. We're going to do the same thing on the side, okay? So push down, okay, push up, push in, push out, alright, flex your toes, okay, and push back up, okay. Um, normally I keep going out with this evaluation and do some special tests, but right now with the amount of pain you're in and the swelling that's happening with your foot, um, I think you may have a Liz Frank fracture dislocation because the pain's right in the midfoot area and the way you landed on it. Okay. So um, I'm going to give you some ice and an ace bandage, and I would like your friend Courtney to take you to the ER to get some x-rays and um, let me know uh, what happens with those, and we'll start to deal with it from there, okay? Okay. <coughs> All right, grab safe, okay? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs>